Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this festive twirl seed beads earrings. I'm showing them really easy and step by step. So even if you're not familiar with the St. Peter Burr stitch that I'm using here, you will be able to make them. Here is another color combination of this work. These are with 8 millimeter pearls in the center. This is with 10 millimeter bead in the center. And you see how if you use 10 millimeter, it is sticking out from one side so this should be the front part of your work of your earring if you turn this into an earring consider subscribing with the bell liking and sharing this video in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials okay guys so for this video i'm using three colors of 11 o seed beads they, these are green, red and white. Here I use 8 mm pearls. These are earring findings, liver bags in golden color. You could use any type of earring findings you like. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Now let's continue. Now here I have monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and this tutorial I will be making with the famous St. Petersburg stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry because I'm showing it so a beginner can understand it. If you want to know uh, more about uh, St. Petersburg stitch, you could check here at this corner to see my St. Petersburg's playlist. And now I'm going to make St. Petersburg's with, but with a little addition and I'm going to do this in a circle. First, I'm going to take a stopper bead and I'm going to slide it down and here because I want it to be really secure I will go like this and like this I won't remove this topper bit later uh, it will be a part of my work so I'm just connecting it with a knot Okay, so now in order to start the St. Petersburg stitch, I will take four red beads and two white beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And by the way, red, green and white are the colors of my country flag, but that is not why I chose them. It was by accident. Okay, so here now what I do after I take these six beads is that I fold these two like this. And as I fold them, my next step will be to go through these two red beads like this. And I'm pulling. And I want this to be really tight and back to my work i don't want here to any thread to show that's why i'm pushing it to my work now this is the difference from the regular saint petersburg stitch usually here i add an end bead like this green one but here before the end bead i'm going to add two more red beads and then i will add my end bead and I'm sliding those beads down. Okay, this is what I have up until now. It's easy, right? Okay, then I will go back through these two and through the following three beads. You see where I'm going. I'm just one bead under these two white beads. That will be the beginning of my next row. Of my next row. Okay, so I'm here. And here what I want to do is again to add an end bead. Okay. Now in my next step, I will take two white beads 
In every row I have six beads. So I'm here I have two, I'm taking two more beads and I'm taking two of my next row beads. Okay, two white and two reds. I'm sliding those down. I'm folding these two red beads like this next to the whites and I'm going through these two whites like this in circle making a loop between the two whites and the reds and if they come to this direction just pull them like this you see there is a loop between those beads and I pull them tight okay but I want six beads in this row that is why I'm adding here two more before I add this end bead this end green bead sliding all of those down okay now I'm skipping this end bead and I'm going through this newly added two beads and through three of the beads in this direction okay this is what I do I'm going through five in this case and my goal is to exit one bead before these two red beads okay I'm exiting out of this bead you see where my thread is after this white bead okay and now I want to take one green and go back through these two reds and I can divide these steps into two steps first step is where I start my next row and in this step I take two of the current color and two of the next color so this is the first step that I do adding starting the next row I could call it okay I have this then I fold and go back and now my first step starting the next row when I pull and tighten it up it's ready and the next step I could call adding the end beads and how I do this I finish this row with two reds because I want to have six beads in each row and then I take an end bead slide it down like this and then skip this end bead go through five beads exiting one bead before these two whites okay and then here I'm adding the second end bead and with this my second step that I call adding the end beads is ready okay now I'm going to show you one more time the first step and the second step okay the first step is taking two white beads and two of my next color and I call this step starting the next row okay after I take these four beads I slide those down I fold it fold these two new color beads and I go through these white beads you see and I pull now I have this and with this my first step adding the next starting the next row is ready so I will do the second step that I call adding the end beads and it is take two to finish this row take an end bead slide it down okay skip the end and go through these five beads and exit one bead before the red beads take the next end bead and add it here okay I think you got the idea now I will start with my next uh, step which is starting the next row and then adding the end beads and with this 
I will continue until I start the 12th row. And when I start the 12th row, I'll be back to tell you how to make this into a circle. Okay, guys, and now this is my 11th and this is my 12th row. And I should finish my 11th row before I show you how I will make this into a circle. Okay, so this is the 11th row. I'm doing absolutely the same thing, adding the end bead going through five in this direction, which is one bead before these two whites. And then here, I'm not adding another green bead because I want to use this one here from my first row as uh, this green bead here. And what should I do? I should go first through this green bead, okay, only through the green. Then I should go through these two white beads, okay. And I'm pulling. Now I have this. And in my next step, I usually took two whites and two red beads. But this time I'm going to take only two white beads. And I'm going to use these red beads here instead of adding new ones, okay? So I'm adding these two whites and I'm going backwards through these first two red beads, okay? Like this. Don't worry that at the first moment it will look strange, we'll fix it later. Okay, then I go through these two white beads. So for the last row, instead of adding the beads that I usually do, I'm using beads from the first row to go back in circle. Okay, so here what I need to do last are these two white beads plus one green to finish the six beads that I need for this row. And I'm sliding all of those down. Then I go backwards through all of those white beads, just like this. And now I want to exit through this green bead in this direction. And here in the center, my choice is to add green beads. You could add red and white beads and alterate them. For example, but now I'm going to add only green beads in the center. It's up to you what you're adding, but you should add them in order to make a place where your pearl goes. Okay, here I add one, and they will be zigzagging a little bit. When you reinforce them, go in circle several times around. They will uh, come closer to the center and become more even. Okay. Now I will add green beads anywhere and I'll meet you here. Okay, and here I am guys where I'm adding my last green bead from this row. You see, I filled all the gaps. It's a really easy row. Now you see it's a little bit zigzaggy, but I want to go around reinforcing it several times, making it more tight and more even. Okay, go around several times and I'll meet you. Okay, guys, and as I went around several times, this is how my work looks i could do even more reinforcements later now i want to attach my pearl how i do this as i'm exiting here through one of my green beads i'm going through my pearl here i'm choosing the opposite bead and going through it 
okay pulling it in the center then going one more time through this pearl again choosing here the same bead but from the other side I'm going from the other side to attach my pearl and you could go back and forth through the pearl and through those beads to make it stay nice and tight in the center and by the way after that you could do more reinforcement to make your work stay smooth okay i'll do this and i'll be back okay guys and now i went several time around these beads here in the center and what i want to do next is go through all of those white beads like this and here i'm going to attach my earring finding so i'm going through this green bead at the top okay and i'm going to take my earring finding like this and i will take a red one go through the earring finding then take one more red slide this down as well okay now i have this and as i'm exiting through one end of the green one i'm going backwards through the other one okay now i have this and i'm going to reinforce these guys and after i'm ready with this reinforcement i want to go through some beads in this direction and find a place to make a knot let's say here okay and i'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and i make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from and i pull and by the way you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through some beads in this direction and cut your thread and now your festive twirl earrings are ready okay guys and now my festive twirl earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week with my new beading ideas down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me mainly on my facebook page you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel thank you so much for watching don't forget that when you change color absolutely different creation is done so experiment and show me your creations bye bye from me